So hello and welcome to The Mancunian. I'm Reese. I'm one of the music editors. And here we've got two incredible artists that we're going to sit down and introduce, kind of talk to for a minute. Um, do you guys want to start by introducing the new album? I know you've got a new project that you've just announced. Yes. Yeah, so I'm Barney Artist. I'm Mr. Jukes. And yeah, we've got an album coming uh, called The Locket, which drops on July the 2nd. Excellent. That's amazing. And just to double check, so this album is a joint project between the two of you rather than the first album that Mr. Jukes released, which was a collaborative project that you featured on. Correct. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. Excellent. Yeah. That, that's super cool. So my first question, obviously, is you worked with so many incredible artists on the first album. Mr. Jukes, what was it about Barney that you went, this is, this is who I need to work with on the collaborative album? Make it good, Jack. Make it good. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of something. Funny, but I can't <laughs> straight for the heartfelt, honest no, response. I but I mean, Mr. Jukes, like musically was so exciting, but a lot of the collaborations were quite fleeting. Like you yeah. spend a day with people and then say goodbye. And, you know, I made some, some good friends, but as soon as me and Barney got in a room, and it was here in London because both grew up here. Yeah. We just instantly connected and like, we're quite different, but at the same time, incredibly similar. Mm -hmm. And so we could bring all these, our different backgrounds musically and all that kind of stuff together. But in a way where I think we've, we've like, we're really honest with each other and we've learned a lot from each other. Excellent. Um, so Blowing Steam was the first album the, uh, the first single that you released off the new album. Why was it that you chose that one first? What was it that you thought, this is the one that needs to come before the rest? And how kind of similar is it to the rest of the album? Or is it just something you really loved and wanted to put out there? Um, it was the first well, it was the first one that we made together in terms yeah. of this, for this record. Um, we made it a while ago, actually. Um, so obviously I, I did a, a verse on the, for the God First yeah. album. Like, the next yeah. One. And, and, and that's where we met and we became really, really good friends. But there was, a, there was a big gap in between that and then we made Blowing Steam. And I think during that time, me and Jack became really, really, like really, really good friends. Yeah. And so when we did Blowing Steam, it was very much just like, oh yeah, we both do music. I forgot about that. We might probably yeah. just try and do something again. And then, um, and then yes, yeah, so we went to our studio, my friend's studio, shout out to Rick at Pinkbird. And, and we sat down and Jack was like, I was like, play me some beats. And then Jack played me, um, played me the beat for, for, for Blowing Steam and it just really resonated with me and and um, um, I didn't even know what Blowing Steam meant it was just this guy over here um, I'm, I'm not as uh, you know cool and arty as this guy and uh, and yeah it was kind of like that that freedom of just vibes and energy and you know and the beat is quite different and, and the instrumentation is really different but it just really meshed together really really well um, and yeah and that's kind of why we wanted to release it first I think it's a great taste of what the album is mm, like yeah. um, how eclectic it is but the feeling of it as well mm. excellent it is an awesome track so if you're reading the article or watching the video now you should really go check it out um one thing that i wanted to talk about you mentioned the artistic side here something that i've never really mentioned the title of the track is blowing steam and then in brackets open up your mind what was mm. the choice for kind of the bracket section on the song title what what does that mean from your guys perspective mm. okay well i i was fighting for open up your mind that wasn't okay. really, it was, it was all me. Like, I, I think, no, I think what it is is like, I think especially kind of coming out of, um, cause at first it was actually wasn't called, I hadn't, hadn't have opened up your mind, it was just called Blowing Steam. And yeah. I think the, the the scratching that Chucks did, um, mm -hmm. shout out to Chucks, our DJ, um, really cemented what the song was. So they, they kind of came yeah. later. Um, I'm also kind of just like in this period of time where it's like, you know, it's a new, it's a new collaboration. Things are opening up. It kind of just felt like it was the best thing to kind of say mm -hmm. in that kind of yeah. like, you know, in that in that section where it was like, okay, cool. Here's a little break. Here's a little break. Open up your mind. Open up your mind. Chill. Let's go back in again. And I think that's it. And I think that's why I kind of wanted to put that in there in in, in, in the song. Kind of. Brilliant. That's that's awesome. So you mentioned that you kind of guys met on the God's First sessions and the albums. How has the writing process changed for you? Kind of the songwriting techniques since that first project together? Is it mainly the friendship between you that just makes everything flow a little easier now? Or is there anything that you've noticed that's different? Yeah, I guess just being more comfortable with each other and like Barney lets me look at his lyrics and like mark them like a school teacher. <laughs> <laughs> um, but other than that, it's kind of been very similar to that first time we met. Um, it's quite um, free flowing in the studio. Like sometimes we'll meet up without an agenda and a lot of times we come in and just spend a few hours just chatting about yeah. 
when we were working together, it was obviously a crazy time in the world, not just the pandemic, but all kinds of stuff going on. So we kind of just meet and time would fly by and then we'd be like, oh, should we, should we try and make a beat? And then a few hours later, we'd have a song. So rather than like a lot of music and maybe it was a bit more like this with God first, it was, everything was an agenda and like, okay, this is going to go here and I'm going to plan this out. Cause my mind usually does work that way. Like, lots of order so it's quite liberating to do it this way where you can kind of just see where it takes you and as long as you're feeling relaxed and letting things happen you know great things can happen that way yeah that, that's brilliant I get that because like the, the comfortable aspect between the two of you kind of the flow that's what creates the best music that's what I've heard from kind of all artists out there regardless of genre like if there's no expectations you get the best out of the music if that makes sense um so I've heard a rather touching story about how you two first met or how you got Barney on the first the first God's first sessions do you want to touch on that I heard that you found you met found him on a playlist somewhere and it just it just wouldn't go away the song that you heard <laughs> can you tell us which one it was uh, it's called Space yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm such a nerd. I remember I was buying some new headphones and I had a playlist just to like test out how good they were. Yeah. And like respect to how good that song sounds because that was on that playlist because it just sounded so. Yeah, I need permission. I need permission for your yeah. headphone company. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, and I remember just hearing like your flow and thinking, I've been making beats for so long and always kind of keeping my ear out for an MC that I'd like to work with because they've always just been instrumental. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I just remember hearing that and being like, I should, I should reach out because this is like kind of what I've been hearing in my head the whole time when I've been uh, making these beats. Excellent. And what was it like receiving that call, Barney? Like just <laughs> on the other end of the phone, like I, I can't imagine that feeling, you know? Well, I was, uh, I was working, at, I was, I was, I was uh, working in retail. So I was uh, working at uh, my, the jean shop and I got mm. this message being like, oh, Jack, uh, Mr. Juice wants to work with you. And um, to be honest with you, I actually wasn't too familiar with, with Jack. Sorry, mate. <laughs> um, uh, but I was like, okay, cool. And I, and I went to, and actually checked out God. I remember I listened to it in the shop, actually. I put God first on in the shop. Um, and I didn't even really realise that Mr. Dukes and Bobby Bicycle like, were the same, like, yeah. the same, whatever. So I was like, oh, this guy's wicked. And then, yeah, we went to, went to the studio um, and we just absolutely hit off. Like, I think it was just like, I think Jack, <laughs> in the best way possible, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, I think, the God first process of him making the album was a lot of work in terms of like yeah. meeting a lot of people mm. and a lot of different types of personalities, different types of characters, some people that were way more extrovert, some people that were way more introverted, all mm. that kind of stuff, traveling everywhere. And I think me coming in at the end was just a kind of like a nice, just like, oh, a guy from London yeah. that gets yeah. me like, and it was just like really like just chill and lovely and so much laughter and jokes. And then from there, we literally just sparked up a friendship and it was just a really, really easy, easy time and I think that's kind of from on my end that's quite kind of happened that's amazing I mean that's kind of says it all really like that's that's where the camaraderie comes from that's where the friendship comes from um you mentioned earlier that all the stuff that's been going on in the world and all the different stuff that's been happening I wanted to ask did you think that you'd be announcing this album kind of if it wasn't for Covid do you think you'd have had that time to work together or do you think maybe you'd be touring with the new Bicycle Club album that came out last year it's true it probably would have been yeah, really busy yeah, 100%. yeah he wouldn't have been here I mean, so many different, so many things could be different, I suppose. Uh -huh. But yeah, it, I mean, working on this really like was something to focus on in a really healthy way during yeah. a time where it was really easy for like days to just pass without you really knowing what time even was. Yeah. So to have that kind of uh, something solid there, yeah. I think really helped like my mental health for sure. Um, putting all your kind of yeah, putting all your effort into a project. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, hundred percent. It's exactly the same thing. I, I think for on on. For both of us, I think it was just nice to have a safe space, especially in that kind of period of time where everything was just like on, on its head, mm. being able to kind of enter a room um, and just be able to be with someone that you love and care about and just speak and, yeah. you know, and, and make a record like the record that we've made that we're really proud of. You know, it's, it's the reason why we called it the locket in the first place is because I think that time period was tough, but also made you really value friendship and love yeah. and, and mm. relationships. And I think the locket in itself as a record is kind of like a musical embodiment of a capsule of time where we were together in that in that moment and, and that's why we just love it so much and we're very proud of it 
that sounds very powerful and I get completely what you mean like putting your effort into something creative certainly I think has helped a lot of people recently mm-hmm. how has how was collaborating like during COVID was it really difficult to get into the studio and find different stuff and work around the re- the restrictions or did you did you kind of have you had it all sorted and kind of figured out well luckily we're a bubble do you know what yeah, I'm saying yeah. so we, like, we, we have to be like a bubble um and, and yeah we kind of like we didn't quite receive any anyone <laughs> All I saw, I just saw no one but you. Oh, man. like every, it was like, it was so funny. Like literally like every day, like we'll be yeah. there like Monday to Friday. And if he wasn't together, I'd come to, I'd go to his house for a dinner. I might come out <laughs> mine for whatever, do you know what I'm saying? It was very yeah. much. So what was even amazing about the, the, the making of this record is like, even like our, our families, do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. meet Jack's family, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Jack meeting my mom and Jack, it, 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 it really, we become really, really close and, and family, as it were. And, you know, even like when it comes to people that are on the album or, you know, featured on the album, our rule was anyone that's on the album, we have to have a relationship with. Yeah. Whether it's on Blowing Steam, you hear the scratching, that's my DJ Chucks, who's actually like, well, like my best friend. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, nice. he's on the album or, do you know what I'm saying? And so it was very much a real a family affair. Family affair. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. And I mean, I think that's something that we're all looking forward to. So it's probably the perfect time for the album to come out as everyone's starting to meet their families again. You get that kind of and you know what you find what you've been missing, but also you get that album that exp- like explains it to you and that you can talk about. Mm-hmm. Um, in terms of the album being collaborative, you mentioned your DJ there that's kind of featured on it as well. Who, who else is on the album? Who else can we look forward to? Anyone that you can mention or that you really enjoyed working with? Yeah, um, well, like Kofi Stone. Um, and, and Lex and Moore are both on the album and they're, they're kind of like the main features in terms of like yeah. stuff and, and I have a very good relationship with both of them and then we have like you know uh, Johnny on trumpet and Frida on vocals and we have but it's, it's, it's really weird because it was very small knit uh, everyone we cut, yeah we literally spoke to and, and had time with and spoke to them about yeah. stuff and you know even was, the covers like just places that Yes. Like, mean a lot to us. Yes. Like within the locket. Yeah. Um, that place is like our favorite like, yeah. place to go get. Yeah. Uh, curry goat and yeah. jerk chicken. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, well, the Brent- church of my mom, my parents' house. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I remember that we had a session at, at Jack's parents' house, um, and I couldn't even think of lyrics. So Jack was like, Let's "Go for a walk," and he, and I, I walked out of his house, and there was like a church right outside his house, and I walked back, and I came back with like lyrics, oh my God, it worked. The greatest lyrics you've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> it was God himself, mate. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, it was very much a, a family affair. Brilliant. Well, I think that's kind of all we've got time for, but thank you so much for joining me. I also want to thank Alana Williams, who's helped me write up some of the questions for today. She's a massive fan too. Uh, she wanted to make sure that she asked you some interesting stuff and I'm really looking forward to the record. I can't wait for it to hear out. Do you just want to just announce when, when it's coming out real quick and then we'll wrap everything up? Yeah, so I'm Barney Artist. Mr. Jukes. And our album, The Locket, is being released on the 2nd of July. I hope you guys love it as much as we do. Brilliant. Thank you ever so much.